It's October 20th, 2015. I'm Dana Durnford, also known as the nuclear proctologist.org. And you can find my videos and Fukushima presentations of Beautiful Girl by Dana on YouTube. Canada's elected Stephen Harper's towel boy and Justin Trudeau. Canada would have elected a fruit fly at this stage. Anything to get rid of Stephen Harper. Canada would have elected a beer bottle. Canada would have elected a moose to an antler. Canada would have elected a bowl of yogurt. Anything but Stephen Harper. Well, we got Trudeau. What can I say? There he is. Can't get rid of him. He's gonna go away. You're gonna put on that stupid smile and get $300,000. A speech after it's all over. He was getting 275 before it, so he should be getting 300,000 a speech after being Prime Minister, right? So my live stream today was interrupted over and over, like everybody else on the planet, by the Star War phenomenon that raged on this planet today and took down all kinds of websites. Anybody who's catching the live stream today, my apologies. Should have known. Who Canada Prime Minister listened the involvement in the anti-ISIS coalition. Well, think about the Taliban, 10,000 Taliban, and you created millions of refugees, killed millions, millions missing, millions of orphans in Afghanistan, a million orphans actually. You went over to Iraq because there was some more Taliban left, and you killed millions, you left millions homeless, millions of refugees, millions missing, and millions of orphans, and you found more, so you went over to Syria. He's pulling the planes out of there. He told Obama, hey, hey dude, can't afford to fuel anymore. We gotta pay all the government's pensions. Can't pay them when we're burning fuel up on this fable. Like 10,000 Hamas in Palestine. 1.6 million people. But there's 5 million refugees. Israel can keep them out, but they can't contain 10,000. 5 million out, no problem. 10,000? Oh, they're, they're, they're kryptonites. The Canadian dollars. Everybody's like, okay, you got rid of Harper. You know, they gotta give him a little boost, right? You could have elected a piece of paper, we would have throwed the money up anyway. You could have elected a snowflake, and it was seen the same results. The money in Canada would have went up. As long as you got rid of Harper, tried to get rid of Harper, voted no confidence, but the Queen's Governor General said, <laughs> oh, No, you don't. He's evil. We got to keep that guy around. We got the inbreed himself. Should be a rule where no government's inbreeds are allowed to be working for the government, let alone be elected to political positions. Three maps that explain the Liberals' great comeback in Canada's election. And all of those maps in each of those communities got a Walmart, Tim Hortons, Burger King, or McDonald's. And every mom and pop in that community has failed. And all the money goes into corporate accounts offshore, in subsidiary accounts. And those corporations in your community are not paying any taxes. Federal, local, provincial. And so now your communities, the only money they got left is to cannibalize your property and everything you do in that community. They got no revenue. Got rid of all the mom and pop operations because they can't compete against five corporations so our whole country is destroyed anyway but they were just desperate to get rid of stephen harper like oh man we can get rid of harper i don't know what it is i'm gonna go vote yeah i don't know what i'm gonna vote for it's just as long as it doesn't say harper i'm gonna check that box they put it at the top of it, and everybody just checked it and voted I've seen harper and they had a little seizure and then they dropped it in the box no well, it's true honest justin trudeau that's just a real change <laughs> come on man <laughs> What's the change going to be? You're going to turn Canada into an industrial nation? Yeah. Canada would have elected a hockey stick at this stage of the game than he did but Stephen Harper. And as a sign of good fate, maybe Justin Trudeau could tell the Canadians not to drink their drinking water anymore. Due to the radioactive fallout from Japan, you can see we now have an enormous unimaginable amount of radioactive nucleoids in our drinking water. Over there you see the natural radionucleoids for thousands of years, 0.5 becquels in a liter lasts one ten thousandth of a second and it couldn't mutate a fruit fly. The stuff here is in your drinking water. The 7,000 becquels a liter will be there for 120 years. Strontium 90 will be there for 300 years. The iodine 131, there's 31 times more iodine 129 with a 15 million year half life. And there's actually the cesium 10 becquels a liter, which is actually a, a 100 times more strontium 90. And so maybe if he's going to show his change, real change, he can change our water filtration system to start dealing with this. Change our food. There's many things he can do. He can acknowledge that Fukushima happened and that the jet streams are real. I'm Dana Durnford. You can find my videos, Beautiful Girl by Dana, and you can find the Fukushima presentations there also. Hugs for everybody. We should have elected the moose with one antler. That's my theory.